Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Do you know what time it is? It's time to become a kitty cat. I'm going to look for the Cat School Witcher gear diagrams in the passages under Temple Isle. So let's punch the air and get going. Oh god, what is that? That is an elemental. It's been a while since I've fought one of you. Alright, well I think I have elemental oil. There it is. It's awfully dark in here. Let's take some cat. I think I remember your attack patterns. <laughs> One damage, nice. So that's the first time those have actually been added to my bestiary, because I think the last time I fought them I didn't get the killing blow, and apparently if you don't get the killing blow it doesn't get added to your bestiary. So let's take a look at it. Is that a relic? No. Oh, Elementa, right. Golem, Elementa Oil, and... Dimeridium Bomb. Golems are mindless matter brought to life by a spell. They obey their creator's orders without question. Their boundless strength, ability to withstand pain, endless patience, and the fact that they need not one jot of food or drink makes them the best servants or guards anyone could ask for. Once provoked, they will not tire of battle until they have either crushed their opponent or themselves crumbled into dust. I feel like if I light everything, something's gonna happen. At the least, it'll look cool. Nah, I don't think it did anything. I don't really know why I'm lighting those up, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, I can't look at the overworld map, I forgot. Uh, do I go this way or through the door? Let's see if the door even opens. Ah. I can't wait to check out the Cat School Witcher gear. I think it's gonna be really good. Ah, need a key.
Hmm. This looks like this might be a puzzle. Look to the depths to be lifted up. Girl, please stop running. Just stop. There's a torch on the ground. I want to light it up. There's no reason I want to light it up. I just want to do it, because it's there. Mission accomplished. Research notes. As per the instructions of our supervisor, Irenius Var Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of all above-mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. Hmm. So they're studying drowners. Oh. Is that a specter? Damn, you're ugly. Wraith. Necrophage oil. I'm guessing these have to be pressed in a certain order or something. Let's see if I can find any information that tells me what order. Before I start just randomly pulling levers. Mysterious recipe. Dear Pascal and Timo, I've got a bit of time between these treatments I have to administer to these stinking drowners. So as promised, I'm writing you the recipe for my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. <laughs> pumpkin, chicken thighs, exotic spices, milk of the Cocos Nucifera. Hard to get, but there's a ship from the Opi Kenberg and Sons Import Company that arrives in the Novigrad port first Wednesday of every month. And those guys sell everything. Striped horse included. The remainder of the list is illegible. I'm sure you'll figure out the process on your own. Good luck. Well, that doesn't help, so I'm just going to start pulling them randomly. Hmm. It said look to the depths. Look to the depths. Look to the depths. Well, I can see under the ground. That's weird. Oh my god, girl. Calm down. Cal calm down. Walk, walk, straight line. There you go. Look to the depths to be lifted up. I'm guessing that means I need to look to the depths to find the combination. To activate something. What depths? What about this right here? These things on the ground. They look like they're facing different directions, right? Could that be a clue? But then which one corresponds with which statue? Hmm. They're actually all over the entire floor. Yeah, those, like, differently facing tiles on the ground are everywhere. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Strange. Let me use my Witcher sense to see if there's anything else. <laughs> Geralt, Master Detective. Hmm, strange. That really helps, Geralt. Thanks.
Nothing else around here. How many different directions can it face? Four different directions. Look to the depths. Okay, well, maybe they just all need to face inwards. Could that be it? Could that be the depths? Nice teleport, girl. Carol. There you go. I swear, sometimes you, you go to press to go in a certain direction with Geralt and it takes him like two seconds to actually do it. This should either do it or my entire plan is dumb. Come on. Yes. Oh. There's drowners down there. Right. Research specimens. They were researching drowners here after all, so I guess those are either the research specimens or perhaps where they got them from. It'll be fine. Let's dive in. that bell? It is 12 p.m. Maybe it's like a noon bell? Alright, what's down here? Other than pure darkness. Laboratory key! Cool. Uh, I guess that means one of the scientists or researchers fell into the specimen chamber? <laughs> Poor guy. This is such a cool place. Someone or something there? They're moving. They're alive. And they're at the center of a pentagram. No good. No evil. Mad Keon. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, what are you? Okay, uh... Are you a person? I have my steel weapon out, so I guess you're a person. I'm trying to figure out what oil to use. I guess just leave the... Hangman's Venom on? I guess. I'm gonna reapply it, even though you don't need to. Since I have the ability that makes it so I don't actually need to reapply oils, but still, it was at like 17 out of 50 or something like that. I like full numbers. Now it's 80 out of 80. Yeah, I don't even know what that thing is. I want to look at you closer. You're fast. You're fascinating. What are you? Holy 
Holy shit! No good, no evil, only I just realized how much sense this makes. I'm fighting a really fast guy, and I'm getting the cat school gear by doing it. It makes sense. It's testing that you can defeat your own character type, basically. I'm trying to parry, but I'm completely mistimed. Whoa! Are you a witcher? You just used Igni. Let me try parrying again. Oh, God. There we go. Got one. It's easier to dodge than to parry. Gotcha. That was a cool fight. What a cool and strange enemy. I really want to know what you are. One, two, three, four. That's four of the diagrams, so that's most of them. <laughs> feline trousers, feline gauntlets. So they're not called, like, cat trousers or anything. They're called feline. That's really cool. I wonder what they look like. New weapon, laboratory notebook. I want to read all this. Because I really want to know what happened to you. How are you able to cast Igni and why do your eyes glow and... Are you even human anymore? I guess not. Alright, let's go ahead and read it. Laboratory notebook. Day one. Luckily, the teleport deposited us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I had grown sick to the gills of that leaky tub. I hope that storm I summoned smashed it into those craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners in my absence did not yield the expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I will administer a brew of medicinal opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy will keep the witcher in a state of half-consciousness, and thus incapable of any resistance. Commencing studies. Note. I must hold off on my planned experiments while I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory. I have set the bones in the forearm of one of my assistants. I will now administer a quadruple dose of milk of the poppy to the witcher. Wait. I'm a little bit confused here. So, the students were the ones conducting research on the Drowners. But then, this person goes on to say, I will administer the opium to the subject. And the subject is a witcher. Who's the witcher? Obviously, it, unrelated to the students' experiments with the Drowners. And given that the person I just fought used Igni on me, which is a witcher ability, I believe, was that the witcher? Driven mad with the studies, perhaps? Day 4. A subject shows incredible resistance to physical torture. Only broke after the second day of intense labor. Moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about Witcher training and the Cat School of Witchers in general. As I suspected, the Cat School Witchers are, for the most part, of elven stock. The school must have some tie to the Elder Races. Addendum. Perhaps its founder was a member of the... I don't know how to say that. Subject unfit for further study. I have discontinued his doses of poppy. Day 7. Administered extract of cowbane and hemlock. In typical representatives of the human and... Ein... Side? I don't know. <laughs> species. Such a mixture provokes paralysis of the peripheral nervous system and eventually of the nerve endings as well. This results in muscular, skeletal, pulmonary, and cardiac paralysis, and ultimately death through suffocation. The Witcher is not, however, a typical representative of any species, though the poison did seem to cause some mild irritation in his nervous system. His mutated body quickly managed to neutralize the harmful alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered have vanished. That's right, witchers have extremely fast metabolisms, and are used to 
ingesting toxic things and processing it. Day 15. Stinging him with sea wasp toxin did not provoke the expected results. In order to strengthen the toxin's effect, I have poured ethyl alcohol into his wounds. His nervous system seems to be immune. Day 26. The subject has been tortured, poisoned, burnt, frozen, starved, and dehydrated. And despite it all, his body continues to function. He eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell on his own, and is able to articulate simple words. Please, drink, don't hurt, stop. Conclusion. As I suspected, the Witcher is a superb... Energumen? I don't know what that is. A demon trapped in such an excellently prepared body will become death incarnate, vengeful wrath made flesh, and placed at my command. No one has succeeded in creating a being of such power since the times of Malaspin and Alzer. What? What's an Energumen? Uh, apparently they intended to trap a demon in the body of the Witcher. So that was the point of the study, because as they said, as I suspected, the Witcher is a superb Energumen. So they were looking, they were trying to study and try trying to find a proper body to put a demon inside of. Why? How? How do you put a demon inside of a body? And what are you going to do with it? This is a great day for science. Time to begin the incantations. That explains the pentagram. Don't think it went so well, though, did it? Search the wreck of the flying stag. Ah, yeah. They did mention that they were on a boat, right? And they were glad to be back home. So I guess that's where the rest of the recipes are. In the boat. God, what a piece of shit. Torturing that poor witcher for so long. Horrible. And look what they did to him. Turned them into a monster. Put a demon inside of them. This is a laboratory, so there could be some good stuff. Good crafting stuff, so I'm gonna take a good look around. Loot everything. That's it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully the wreck of the flying stag isn't too far away. Oh. Hello. Almost missed this. Where did I come from? It came from that way. Where does this go? Out to sea? I'm pretty far from the edge of this place. Oh wow. <laughs> That's really far away. And I haven't actually been anywhere around there, so I can't even get that close to it. Cool. Adventure. I like it. Let's see what's down here. I knew there'd be something hidden at the bottom. There always is. So pretty. Look at this place. I feel like something's gonna attack me in a minute. Some really nice crafting stuff. Lots of master items. And what's this? Invoice for a golem. Issued by... 
I don't know how that's meant to be said. I could say Jehuda. But maybe it's more like a Y? Yehuda? Uh... Lu? Lehuda? Jehuda? Lu? Or something like that. Purchaser Irenus. I'm not even going to try to say these names. Goods purchased. Guardian Golem. Clay. Porcelain. Warranty. <laughs> the Golem has a warranty. In the event of damage to the ceramic, please report immediately to the nearest branch of... Jehuda, Lu, and Apprentices. The Golem can only be serviced by qualified company personnel. How do you service a Golem? I, I don't even know what that means. Like, how... I, I don't get it. <laughs> That's funny, though. The purchase receipt for the golem that I just fought. I don't know why that's so funny, but for some reason it is. Oh. There's always wraiths in places like this. What is up with that? Let's go to the wreck of the flying stag. I should be able to find a boat somewhere nearby. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. Okay, where's the nearest boat? And no, you can't go to that one. I actually tried to go to that one when in the last episode my boat broke. And unfortunately that's out of bounds for the map. So it just threw me back and teleported me closer in. And I tried to go for it. Um, I have to jump into the water, don't I? I think I do. I guess the fastest way is... Probably... I could either take a boat directly there, or fast travel to here and then take Roach. I want to take a boat, though. I think it'd be cool to take a boat ride. Let's go for this boat here. Whee! Such a beautiful day. Let's sail out on the waters. The crisp blue waters. Enjoy the calming sounds of Geralt's splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. That is a bunch of drowners that are popping up and walking on water. Those are known as Jesus drowners. They're a, a category all of their own. Haven't found the recipe for the oil yet. Oh, look at that, like, turquoise and purple color near the edge of this place, in the water. It looks so cool. Another drifter in from Tamaria. I love that nobody minds me just stealing their boats. Yoink! Is this yours, townsman? It's mine now. Got a lovely couple minutes till we're there. Let's enjoy the view.
Oh, I think I see it. That's got to be the flying stag right there, huh? Basilisk, level 14? Oh, I can take you. What is a basilisk, exactly? What would it be? Mm. That would be a dragonid, right? I think it would be a dragonid. It's not in the list, but maybe I just haven't defeated one. Hogroid? Yeah, I think it's a Draconid. Let's put the appropriate oil on. Assuming I have it. Oh, I don't. Well. Oh, you've been busy? Look at all these farm animals. I wish I didn't take my thunderbolt so early. Come on. Yep, just added the basilisk to my beast cherry. Longclaw? Poor guy. Looks like a soldier or a guard or something. Just got picked up and carried off, I guess. Long claw, there it is. Uh, base damage a little bit less. 31 armor piercing, that's pretty good. It's not as good, though. No, compared to the plus 50% critical hit damage bonus, 10% chance to stagger, 10% chance to dismember. Nah. Anything else on this little island before we go to the boat? Hey, can I summon Roach onto the onto this island? Oh my god, I can. All right, seems like that's it. Let's get those remaining three recipes. I'm really excited to craft this gear.
Ah, there's one more. Feline crossbow. And mage's notes. Kian has enlisted with the flying stag as a guard of sorts. A hefty sack of Novigrad crowns convinced the captain to lodge me in his cabin. All is going according to plan. Kion, that's the Witcher. Wow. So he bribed the captain to lodge him in the... To lodge him in the cabin of the Witcher so that he could... Capture him, I guess? I'm actually finding this expedition amusing. I'm glad I didn't contract the kidnapping out to some bulgy-armed halfwit. I'll do it more gracefully myself. He's cautious. I won't be able to put him down with a casually placed poison apple. Guess I'll have to zonk him out with a spell and whisk him away via teleport. I just hope it won't plop us down somewhere in the middle of Temple Isle instead of in my quarters below it. The power pulsating from my laboratory tends to throw off a good portion of my attempts to teleport home. Very high level resistance to psionic spells. Time needed for full penetration of his nervous system, a half an hour at least. A few more moments and the Witcher will be ready for transport. Now I just need to wipe our tracks. Perhaps a little change in the weather? Oh right, didn't they say that they summoned a storm? So they personally caused the boat to crash there? And I guess they probably all got eaten by the Basilisk, right? While waiting for more favorable atmospheric conditions, I looked through his things. Some very intriguing documents. A map of Est Tair, or Tayar, something like that. Uh, crafting diagrams of elven provenance. Margin note. Highly interesting sketch for a one-handed crossbow. Most likely used to hunt draconids or... Ornithus... Ornithosars... Ornithosars. Must ask, must ask about this during interrogation. Confirms my theory that the Witchers of the Cat School use elven weapons. And, wait for it, Professor Sigismund Gloger's notes. It's clear the Witcher had something to do with the famous professor's disappearance. I think I might have overdone it a bit with those... Cum... what is that word? Cumulonimbi... Q... I don't know. No point in tarrying. Time to evacuate. Alright, still two more diagrams to go. And that guy is a, just a freaking predator. What a horrible person. Just for his own research, he tortured a witcher. Like, you know, bribed a captain to get close to the witcher. Teleported him away, caused a storm to cause this... This boat to go off track and crash into this place and wipe his tracks and kill all the people on board. The captain, I'm sure, and whoever else was on it. And Jesus, just... A trail of destruction. Oh, now we gotta go to the ruins of Est Tayar. Cool, this is such a huge scavenger hunt. Treasure hunt, I love it. It's gonna feel good to have all that done and finally craft it once I have all the pieces. How far away are you? Oh. Not too bad. Yeah, just get to a fast travel post, and we're good. What's the quickest one to get to? Probably that one. Uh, let's take the boat. I was gonna swim across, but I think the boat would be a bit faster. Oh. Hello. Are you the... Oh, Captain's Log. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think I really need to read all of this, because we know what happened to him. Just skim it. Strange, a mage paid through the nose to share a captain with the Witcher. Freaks are drawn to each other, it seems. That Witcher's a real treasure. It's not just about monsters. Even customs officers are more civil with Keon around. And they aren't as annoyingly scrupulous as usual. Seems the legends surrounding our Witcher have curtailed their zeal. Wind changed direction. Boatswain says he heard a terrible ruckus in the Witcher's cabin this morning. With bright flashes coming out from under the door. Oh boy. The cabin is empty. Can't search the ship now. 
Can't make it a port. Storm's coming, yep. Poor captain. This is such a cool quest line, I love it. It might actually be faster just to go... Wait, where's all the fast travel signs? They've disappeared. Well, I know there's one in the port. So let's actually go there. I think it might be faster to take the boat there than it would be to go on land. There's lightning in the distance. Storm's brewing. so cool the way the weather changes like that. From everything being perfect to everything that looks perfect, but there's some lightning in the distance and now it's getting foggy and creepy. Now it's a full-blown storm. There should be a fast travel sign really close. Yep. Here we are. Just getting off his invisible horse. As usual. Whoa, witch hunters. Hi. Whoa, a lot of witch hunters. Let's actually get my... I'm gonna meditate and get my stuff back. Monsters. I'm a witcher. Want my help? Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One plowing trouble after the other. Well, what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, it's you. I've been waiting for you. 
Wait. A am I actually supposed to do something here for Radovid? Am I actually doing two quests at the same time? Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Key to Philippa Eilhart's hideout. Yeah. Wow, so I'm accidentally doing two quests at the same time. Cool. What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Eilhart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap. Then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? Dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then, tucked herself away here. Time I saw her, Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? I think you'll find something. That could throw. <laughs> not on your life. Is a witch. Bitch or not, you'll be dead before you can. I'd be surprised if I found Philippa. Down here. Feels too easy. Ooh. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. Pretty. Missing one tile. Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move around. There's one of the witch hunters. Portals. Great. And the witch hunters probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thunk? Look at how cool that effect is. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, I'd be surprised if we found Philippa down here, but there is a chance we will, and since I am doing two quests at once, I think this is going to take quite a while down here. Yeah, this quest is really involved, this treasure hunt for the Catskull gear, it's really cool. I was hoping to finish it all up in this episode and then go craft the gear, but I think I'm going to have to save that for next time. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go deeper into Philippa's hideout, see if I can find her. See if I can help out Radovid, even though I don't want to. And also search for the Catskull gear diagrams. 